Hello and welcome to Swift Goose. Today we're going to look at SpriteKit and how to move a player node wherever the mouse clicks, while also keeping movement speed consistent, so that no matter the distance, the player will always move at the same rate. Okay, so the first thing we'll do is create a new game for macOS, and we'll just call this Movement Test. And we'll put this in our games directory. I have an asset here that we'll go ahead and drag into our assets folder. This is our player texture and we'll set it as our 2x. And actually the first thing we'll do, let's come to our game scene.sks. Let's delete our hello world since we don't need that. And then back in our game scene.swift, let's get rid of all references to our label. And there's one down at the bottom for our key down. So let's just replace that with a print statement. Okay, now we need to add a reference to our player. And just as a quick side note, normally you'd wanna create a separate file and class for all this information in it. But just for the sake of this tutorial, we'll just keep it all in one file in our game scene. So var player, and this is gonna be of type sk sprite node. And we'll just set it right away to a empty node. And then inside of our did move, we need to say player equals sk sprite node, and we'll do image named player. And that refers to the player that we just dragged in before. And we wanna set the position as well. So player.position equals cg point. We'll just put them right at the start in the middle of the screen. So zero comma zero and then we add the player to our scene. So self.addChild player. Now if we run this, we'll have a very bare bones application that just has our player in the middle. And we still have the click functionality that Xcode has already provided for us and we'll deal with that in just a sec. So we'll keep the click functionality. I do want to change the rectangle size just to be 0.01. It adds kind of a nice effect when you click that the user will see where their node is headed toward. And now we need to look for the mouse down method. Again, Xcode has already provided us with this mouse down and they've implemented some methods self.touchdown which will respond to these events. We can get rid of mouse up for now. And we'll keep mouse drag so that when the player drags their mouse, the player will still move in that direction. So what we'll do is copy our action for mouse down and copy it to mouse dragged. And now we don't need the touch moved and we don't need touch up either. So when the user clicks with their left, it's going to set the position of the player. So all we have to do at this point is call an action. So player.run action, and this is gonna be an sk action.move. We're gonna to move to the point that we clicked over a certain amount of time. So at this point, that's POS, our parameter, and our time interval, let's just set this as one for right now. Now when we run this, if I click on the left, you see we get the green square and the player moves to that position. Now, the speed is very fast because it's always going over one second. This kind of is a problem because if you click near, it takes forever for the node to get there. So to have a consistent speed, we need to get the distance and then divide it over the player's movement speed. So let's create a variable. Let movement speed equals 200. And then we need to get the distance between the player's current position and the point that was clicked. So here we'll use the distance formula. So let x equals pos.x minus player.position.x. And then our y will be let y equals pos.y minus player.position.y. And our distance will be square root of x times x plus y times y. At this point, we can divide our distance by our player's movement speed to get the duration. Distance divided by movement speed. And we're getting an error here because we need to cast our CG float of distance as a double. 
So let's just put double in here to cast our distance as a double. Now if we run this, you'll see when we click, it's always going to be the same movement speed. So if I click all the way over here, it still takes a while. But if I click next to us, it's quick too. That's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. Please hit the like button, subscribe, leave a comment, and hit the dinner bell to be notified of the next video. Thanks for watching.